In this video, we'll show you how to access LearnDash course reports and student progress data. So let's get started. We've logged into our local LearnDash eLearning site. To view course reports and student progress data, let's visit the WordPress dashboard. Now from the LearnDash LMS menu, open the report section. On this screen, you'll find some basic reports about your eLearning website. Here is the LearnDash reports overview. Here you can see the total number of students, total number of courses, assignments pending, and essays pending. Here there's also a LearnDash activity tab. So whenever any kind of activity going on your LearnDash site, you're going to receive it over here. In the LearnDash progress chart, currently there's no progress reports to show here, that's why you're seeing this. And again, down over here in the LearnDash reporting section, you can see some progress over here, the users, their email address, and what's their progress with it. So with this course, building an SEO foundation, so we have all these courses enrolled but not started, so we can see the reports over here. Again, you can change the pages by clicking on these arrow buttons. In the LearnDash reports filter, you can also select courses from this list. For example, there's a course over here. Then you can select any users, and then you can select the status, which is in progress, completed, not started. Then you can click on filter and that specific report will be shown to you. Please note, LearnDash has added this built-in report section with an update. So make sure that you're using an up-to-date version of the plugin. Our local host site doesn't have much course data. So let's visit an official LearnDash demo site where we can show you some more insights. So we have logged into the LearnDash demo site to show you much more about the analytics. Here you can see there's the uh, report filters and here there are some students, some courses, assignments pending. Here we can see some activities like someone completed a quiz or if a course is completed, so we can see all this data. Again, there are two buttons over here. You can click on these to export course data and export quiz data. So that's much more helpful for you. In this reporting section, you can see the course creators and their progress with the course, creating quizzes and certificates. The progress of everything can be seen over here. Again, you can click on these arrow buttons to change the pages. So all the reports and data will be shown over here. So the built-in report section of LearnDash provides only some basic data. But how to get some more advanced analytics? You can get more in-depth and rich data using the LearnDash Pro Panel add-on. It's a premium add-on offered by LearnDash which you can buy separately. We'll provide the Pro Panel download link in the video description. Now let's visit the official LearnDash demo site to see a Pro Panel overview. As you can see, the Pro Panel add-on is already installed on this site. So if we click over here, we can see the Pro Panel. And here you can see something different in the Pro Panel. It says Pro Panel Dashboard. The Pro Panel Dashboard can be accessed at any time from here. Configure the settings below and launch the Pro Panel Dashboard. And again, the Students Quiz Reports page, this is also another section. Here you can see it says this can be accessed at any time from here. Configure the settings below and launch the Student Quiz Reports page. So you can configure this page as well. If we look into the settings, here you can decide who will be able to access the Pro Panel. And also you can choose where you want to display the Pro Panel. Here there are other settings options such as exclude settings. So you can exclude courses, exclude user roles, and exclude the users from here just by clicking on here and you can select the users. And these will be excluded from the reports and graphs. Now, if we go to the next section, this is actually something interesting. The time tracking settings is something new. Here you can see how much time a student actually spends in a course. Okay, you can also configure the idle time, you can um, configure the idle hours, minutes, seconds, and if a student is idle, you can display an idle message. Are you still here? They can click on the button, yes I am, so they're active. So you can see that this is a very handy feature. Again, if you need help, you can uh, look at the documentation. If you need help in configuring these settings or this plugin, you can click over here. And again, the data upgrades here, you can enhance the loading speed and performance of ProPanel. If we click on the Gutenberg Blocks tab, so this is where you can view your course reports, quiz reports, learner reports, activity reports, and quick stats. Now you will be able to customize your ProPanel analytics. Okay, we're going to see in a few seconds. So here is the course report section, the course progress, 
So all of these are available through Gutenberg blocks. You can customize your entire pro panel page using Gutenberg blocks, such as the course progress. This is a Gutenberg block. You can simply click on the plus button, expand left side panel, go to the blocks tab and search for course progress. And it's going to bring you this block. Okay. Over here, you can see the different sides of the block. Okay. Again, the course list, this is also another Gutenberg block. It shows you the list of courses and the categories and the completed learners in progress, all these data. So there are several of these Gutenberg blocks that you can use to customize your pro panel. Now, actually, let's see the pro panels. We're going to go over here and we're going to click on configure dashboard. All right, here is the pro panel dashboard. Here we can see a message. It says you are one step away from launching your pro panel dashboard. Each reporting component seen below is a Gutenberg block. They can be found by clicking on the plus icon. The dashboard below is pre-configured. You can also hide, show or reorder the blocks and reuse the same patterns below. Once launched, only the admins can access this page to provide access to others, navigate to the WordPress dashboard, pro panel and settings tab, which we have already seen. Now, if we scroll down, you can see the total revenue, total courses, total learners and assignment spending all over here. Again, there's the revenue from courses. This is section where you can see the revenue. Currently, this is a demo site, so there's no data over here. And again, here in the daily enrollments, here you can see the duration of 30 days, how many enrollments there has been. You can see the data over here. And again, in the course report section, you can uh, select which course you want to see the data. So if I click over here, there's no option. If you click on courses, there are so many courses over here, you can select your courses. And finally, when you're done, let's say you select your course, you select a specific course. For example, this is your course. And if you want to choose any group, we don't have any groups here. Um, we also have lessons. And then we can click on apply and the reports on that specific course will be shown right below over here. Okay. You can also search for learner specific reports. You can click on this drop down and select the learner and then click on apply and that specific data will be shown over here. So that's really helpful. Okay, if we scroll down here, you can see the time spent data over here, the courses and here you can uh, check the courses. Currently we have no data, so this won't be shown. And in the course completion rate, so uh, average course completion rate, it will be shown over here, which courses are getting completed. You can see their percentage and everything. If we scroll down over here, there are much more data such as course progress. Here you can look at the course progress. Average course progress is 83.33%. You can also look at the data over here. You can just hover your mouse over here. So there are two learners, 66.7%. And over here in the 33.3%, there's one learner. So you can view all the data just by hovering your mouse over here. And here you can also see the quiz completion rate, total quizzes, total courses. Next, if we scroll down, the quiz completion time is also shown and the learner's pass rate, that's also shown over here. Now, if you expand this list, Gutenberg, you can find blocks for your pro panel. So if I simply search for pro panel over here, we can see some of the blocks right away, such as the total courses. So this will show the total number of courses. I think this is this block. Again, there's the daily enrollments, uh, time spent on a course, quiz completion, quiz completion rate, course completion rate, course progress rate. So we have actually seen these blocks just a few seconds ago. Here's the average quiz attempts in active users. You can basically drag and drop these blocks on your page and it will appear over here. Now this is loading and it's going to fetch the real data in a few seconds, but I'm not going to wait for that. So I'm going to close it up. Okay, you can also drag and drop these sections because these are Gutenberg blocks and you can customize it in any way you want. You can resize it, you can customize it, you can set its width. So all is up to you. So we're going to hit publish and we're going to publish this dashboard. And now it's been published. Let's click on view page. And it says, hooray, you have successfully configured pro panel. You can now access the quiz reports tab to check quiz attempts, the learner specific reports to check the important reports for individual learners and more insights. So I'm going to click on got it. So now you can see that all the data are showing up over here. If you need help with pro panel, we'll provide their official support link in the video description. You can check that out. So that's enough for today. We hope that this video was helpful for you guys. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos on WordPress. So thank you for watching. See you next time.